time uh, ago, Orlando City designated player, Josue Coleman, who was yes. actually not in the starting FC, and we're able to qualify for the next round of the tournament. few uh, ex-MLS guys as well joining him. Luisa Maria, remember when he guaranteed he would score 25 goals for Minnesota, Minnesota United? Yeah. Oh, that didn't happen. He's uh, now at uh, Mazatlan and uh, one of the more uh, questionable DP signings in the league over the past several years. Handball there, but it's deflected to Chiellini. He sends it forward. Biuk tries to knock down the header. Bogus goes in hard, and Zapata knocks him down. It'll be a free kick for Juarez. And once again, Zapata's going to be slow to get up here in the 51st minute. It'll be another free kick for Juarez. This one much closer to midfield in the center circle. But boy, what a start for Diego Mejia's side. Played short to Bouquet, the substitute. Right back to Rodriguez. Back to Bouquet, near midfield. Lays it off to Rodriguez again. The right back is tucked inside, and he's going to play it all the way back to Jose Garcia. Back now to the keeper, Pasquale. On one touch, sends it to midfield. Hollingshead, chested down, flips it out wide. Good ball there. Biu plays it back to Acosta. Trying to hit. Response there from LAFC. 53rd minute. They're checking it on VAR. A goal it is. Juarez puts it back into play. Just when Juarez had cut the lead in half, they trail by two again. Played back now Ortega, the left center back, trying to flip it forward. Acosta got it near midfield, but he can't knock it down far enough as Aldo Cruz wins it back. Escoto, though, on the second ball to Salas. All the way back now. Cruz, the left back, racing backwards with Steve Debut pressuring. He tries to flip it towards midfield, knocked down there by Hollingshead, only as far as Zapata. He'll square it off there to Bouquet, played to Salas, who now switches it all the way across the pitch to the right back. Rodriguez, Luis Rodriguez, into the offensive zone. Short little dribble there. Buonga meets him 10 yards inside the offensive half, and he has to play it back to midfield. Bouquet there, pressured from Vela from behind. Bouquet will get the throw in, though, for Juarez and takes it quickly down to Salas. Defensive midfield, right around the midfield strike. Now they'll try the left side. Flips it all the way across the pitch. Aldo Cruz down the line with a 10-yard ball there. Given away there by Juarez. Steve Bue grabs it and races into the offensive zone. It's 1v4. Bue circling around defenders and gets fouled. Oh, what a job by Stipe there in the midst of deep traffic. Juarez had everybody around him, and Bue just looping the ball through, circling around defenders there until he was fouled. Free kick LAFC, 54th minute. Boy, that is good work there. 1v4. Hollingshead takes the free kick back to Chiellini at midfield. 
Out wide on the near side. Ooh, Rodriguez steps in in front of Bowanga. Cheeky Palacios diving in, making the tackle right to Denise, keeping it in the offensive zone. Bowanga dragging it down the line. Denise, 10 yards off the end line, trying to cut around the defender. Jose Garcia does a great job to step in there, and Bowanga pushes him down. And now, Bowanga and Garcia are going to have words here in the 55th minute. Free kick, FC Juarez. LAFC 3, Juarez 1. Denis Bowanga has recaptured that two-goal lead for LAFC. Played up near midfield. Good quick turn. Aitor Garcia looking for the run there on the far side of Bouquet. But it's too far in front. We're going to be out of play. 40 yards off the end line to throw in for Ryan Alexhead at LAFC. Boy, Juarez with that goal actually kind of woke up LAFC. That is good to see, no doubt. Thrown in quickly, blasted forward by Ilya Sanchez. Headed up high in the air by Ortega. Near midfield, Acosta tries to head it out wide. We catch the only one there waiting for it, the substitute. He's got Cruz in front of him to play it back, though. Ortega to Salas, back to Ortega. Good high pressure from Bogus. Forces it back to Pasquale. The square it off to Jose Garcia, the right center back. Back to Pasquale at the six. Here comes Pulonga. Pasquale settles. Pulonga nearly gets there. Down the middle of the field, Laren Long with an easy header back towards midfield. Ilya Sanchez gets there first, flipping it forward. Biuk knocks it down, but it's only as far as Zapata. Biuk trying to drag Zapata to the ground. Zapata keeping good possession there. Plays it off. Aldo Cruz down that right or that left wing. Trying to get back nicely there is Bouquet. Middle of the park there. Saucedo. He's got his head up. He's got players out wide. Sets it up there. Aitar Garcia. Back into the middle field. Zapata from 30 yards. Settles. Right footed shot. McCarthy lets it bounce over him and out of play. McCarthy made the save. They're going to say it's a corner kick somehow. I don't think McCarthy actually touched him. The referee says he did. Wow. McCarthy kind of let that one go as he dove. Saw he's going to go wide. Their circle, they'll try the left side. Waiting for it is Bouquet, the sub. Aldo Cruz making a good overlapping run. Bouquet tries to go inside to Saucedo. That's knocked away nicely by Aaron Long back to midfield. And Juarez will have to retreat to gather their Escoto. Now near midfield, Salas will try the left side. Once again, Saucedo racing down that left wing. He's got Aldo Cruz, the left back, actually in front of him instead near midfield. He circles around, sends it all the way across the pitch. Rodriguez there waiting, 30 yards off the end line. Into the corner, Escoto making the run. Plays back to Rodriguez, right along the touchline here. He'll pull it back down to Zapata, middle of the field, but 40 yards from goal. Short ball to Salas. Still working around the edge. He tries to go through the defenders there. And Hollingshead cuts it off brilliantly. It's Stipe Buke. Buke's first touch is dreadful, though, and Salas wins it back. Here comes Juarez, now that left wing. The Oak does retreat enough to get defensively in position. Salas plays it back. Zapata out wide again. Bouquet. Here comes Bouquet. 35 yards off the end line. Bouquet. 25 yards off the end line. 
into the corner now. Lays it off. Cutting it back across. Good to the ball there by Salas, but it's cleaned up nicely on the head of Bawanga. To the top of the 18. LAFC still have to clear their lines. Long trying to battle with a header. Gets a nice header to Bogu. Mateo's in traffic. It's taken down and a foul is called. 35 yards from John McCarthy. Good ball there for LAFC clearing the lines. And Bogus did a good job to earn that free kick. 59th minute. 3-1 black and gold. And it looks like it's going to be another sub from Diego Mejia's side. And why not? It's Mario Osuna. He's going to come in for Javier Salas. It's going to be some more offense inserted here. The 34-year-old Mexican Osuna making his third appearance in the Leeds Cup. All of them off the bench. He converted a PK against Matamon. Though has lost so Javier Salas' night is done. 59th minute. It'll be Osuna for Juarez. LAFC have the free kick here. Off the foul and committed against Mateo Bogus. Good job by Bogus to earn it. Elias Sanchez sends it out wide in the offensive zone. Knocked out by Butte to Vela. Continues his run. Vela leads way too far inside and he apologizes to Butte. That's well cleans it up to Osuna. Osuna out wide on the far side. Towards Bouquet on his first touch. Back to Zapata to Osuna. Plays it back now to Ortega. Left center back Ortega squares it off to Jose Garcia in the corner here. 15 yards off the end line. And Garcia in front of Buonga just blasts it long towards midfield. Nicely headed back by Elias Sanchez. But Rodriguez is there to just sky it high and deep in the LAFC's offensive half. And is going to be called for the foul. Racing in without even looking at the ball trying to hit Aaron Long there. Not trying to harm him. But causing Long some problems, and the foul was easily called. Elias Sanchez is the restart to Chiellini. Escoto trying to pressure him. Chiellini down that left wing. Kept in play momentarily. Nope, too far for Buonga to keep it in play. But Chiellini missed that one. Didn't miss it badly, but he missed it, and it's a throw in for FC Juarez. 60th minute, thrown in by Rodriguez. He gets it back there from Asuna. Plays it all the way back to Ortega, back to Pasquale. Just outside of the six. Pressure from LAFC. Pasquale chipping it towards midfield. Chiellini, strong header. One to Buonga there. 35 from goal, squares it off middle of the field, Acosta with his head up, got Vaila in front of him, nowhere to find a passing lane, Ilya Sanchez, good diagonal ball to Buanga, just outside of the area, he back into the middle towards Piuk, gets touched away momentarily, and Zapata puts it under the foot of Aldo Cruz, who then sends it long, only as far as Hollings head's chest, just 40 yards from goal, flips it forward to Acosta, who gives it right back to Hollings head along the touchline on the far side, cuts it back to Piuk, 22 yards off the end line. To Elia Sanchez, good pass to Vela, middle of the field, settles on the right foot, shot, goal! Carlos Vela with a curly goal, it's 4-1! Oh, when you find Carlos Vela there from 22 yards on that left foot to the back post, forget about it! Put it on the board, it's 4-1! is second of the night, and LAFC are in command here. Great passing. Vela put it on the left foot. Juarez did not close it down quickly enough, and there was nothing Pasquale was going to do but pick that one out of the back of the net. Oh, we've seen it so many times from Carlos Vela. Just perfect. Carlos Delivered the perfect left foot, and it's 4 1. Juarez playing it back now through their defense on the restart. Garcia to Rodriguez under heavy pressure from LAMC. Gets it forward there on this near wing. And I'm pretty sure that's a foul there. Yeah, no doubt. Foul is called. I think a yellow card's coming out here, maybe. Is the referee just going to give them the talking to here? Carlos Vela makes it 4 1 and a brilliant curler. We're now in the 62nd minute. Juarez on the restart, go all the way across the pitch to Bouquet, right through the legs of Hollingshead. Bouquet racing forward, tries to deliver on the diagonal ball to Escoto, and Hollingshead gets back to cut it off, winning the ball back now to Kellen Acosta, who nearly loses it. Escoso, Escoto does, touch it away to Zapata. Back out wide to Bouquet, 18 extended to the corner of the far side. Bouquet towards the end line, cutting it back on his right foot now, plays it back on the diagonal to Zapata, 25 from goal. He'll square it off to Rodriguez in the middle of the park. It goes by him. Buonga tries to get there. Palacios does and then blasts it off of Osuna and out of play. It'll be a throw in LAFC. The black and gold are looking to make a couple of subs here potentially. Not quite yet here in the 63rd minute. Almost ready for two subs here with a 4-1 lead. Palacios, cheeky, 35 yards off the end line. Throws it to Bogus, gets it right back from Mateusz. 
Vasquez puts it in the corner to Chiellini, who just chips it forward. Rodriguez does a good job to get there first, but hitting off his arm, and, up, and it'll be a, a free kick for LAFC on the inadvertent handball by Luis Rodriguez. And it looks like now the subs are going to come in potentially here for LAFC. It is Eric Duenas and Danilo Maldonado. The first one, Duenas, is for Stipe Mew, officially. Eric Duenas will come in. Duenas has 15 appearances in MLS play. And now it'll be Giorgio Chiellini taking the rest of the night off as Danilo Maldonado will come in. That's like for like. Aaron Long will switch over to the left center back spot. Danilo into his more familiar right center back spot. Of course, he's playing the left center back. Giorgio with a lot of handshakes and hugs all around from his teammates here. 64th minute. So it's Maldonado and Dwayne Yoss for Biuk and Kelly Chiellini. As LAFC now lead 4 1, they've got a free kick here that Aaron Long, who's at the left center back spot, will let John McCarthy take actually about 35 yards off his line. And McCarthy's going to send everybody long before he delivers it here. LAFC 4, FC Juarez 1. Two goals from Carlos Vela. Long to Dini Buonga, heads it down. Ilya Sanchez picks up a second ball out wide to Cheeky. Well in the offensive half. Palacios dribbling down this week, but he's going to be double teamed here. Nearly gets it off his foot. It's deflected away. Zapata cleans it up here to Asuna, who just chips it forward to Sacedo. He's going to switch it all the way across, but it's right to Carlos Vela in the middle of the field. Vela trying the cutting pass, deflected away to Dwayne Goss, and now to Acosta, 35 yards from goal. What was Sacedo thinking there? Vela made a run. Ilya Sanchez doesn't want to complete that pass. And Dwayne Goss back to Ilya, and he'll, he'll play it back now to Aaron Long. The left center back will now go all the way back to McCarthy under pressure from Escoto, the goal scorer for Juarez. McCarthy flips it up towards midfield, headed strong there by Osuna. Ilya Sanchez battling with a couple of players to win it back to Long, who just flips it out wide without looking to an open Palacios. Great job by LAFC. 65th minute. Down the line, Bowongo. Great little flick there towards Bogush, but it was just too far in front of him. Cleaned up by Jose Garcia. All the way back to the keeper here, Pasquale. And he's right back to Garcia, the right center back. Dribbling forward, 25 yards, now 30 yards off his line. Puts it on that right foot and blasts it long and lean. Headed away by Long to midfield. Knocked down by Duenas to Hollingshead to Ilié. One touch out wide to Duenas on the right wing. Back to Hollingshead, who overruns the ball momentarily. And then win it back to Duenas. Good ball by Duenas, right back to Ilié Sanchez. Possession here, forward to Acosta. One touch down that right wing. A great ball here. Making the run is Vela. Trying to flip it to the middle. It's just too far for Bawanga. It won't check up. It'll run, in fact, all the way out of play past Denis. He gives the thumbs up to Vela for the thought, but Carlos just mishit that one a bit. Rodriguez will have a throw in for Juarez, five yards off the end line. 66 minute. 4 1. Rodriguez. Now walking it up about 10 yards off the end line here. On this right wing, throws it in short to Sacedo, just flips it forward without looking. Headed down by Escoto, but it's right to Daniel Maldonado, his first significant touches at midfield. It's a forward pass there to Vela. Nicely taken by Carlos. Still in the middle field, about 45 yards from goal. Chipping it towards Buwanga, making a run. Denise in the area. Denise settles on the right foot. Shot back, posted in! And the flag comes up late. Offside. No goal. Denis can't believe it. What a ball from Vela to Denis, and what a finish. As Bowong was on this left wing and went far post, curling it around as Pasquale. Oh, boy, they're going to have to check this. He is not offside. He is onside. They better go to VAR on this. I believe it was the left center back Ortega keeping him on. Will they check it? At least from this angle. Vela's down. Kind of holding the right thigh. He does get up here as the training staff comes out to greet him. But are they going to check this on VAR? The call of the pitch was offside. It's the 62nd, 67th minute. Vela's now talking with the training staff as he's walking off the pitch. And I think he's going to walk right back into the locker room. Wow. There he goes. Oh, boy. He's walking off under his own power, but he was holding that right thigh, and Carlos Vela's already back towards the dressing room. The referee is talking with VAR here. Alan Chapman is handling it, and they are going to VAR. It's a goal! It is a goal, and Denis Buongo is onside. It's 5-1! Denis with his second of the match. Vela with the assist. And LAFC are running rough shot over FC Juarez. 
And it was right on that play that Vela started holding that right thigh. But boy, Denis Buwaga with a brilliant finish and run. But we hope Carlos Vela's all right. He walked right back into the locker room after Denis Buwaga finished that off. It's 5-1. But bigger concerns here is Carlos Vela literally just walked off the pitch. A sub now for Juarez. It's going to be Santiago Ormeño. And he replaces Aldo Cruz, the left back. Ormeño more of an attacking player. And Ormeño, the 29-year-old Peruvian, will make his first appearance in the league stuff. And LAFC also made a substitution here. For Carlos Vela, it's Nathan Ordaz who comes in. Carlos Vela, as we said, walked right back into the locker room. 5-1 LAFC in the second goal of the match for Denny Buwonga. Played there to the substitute Ormeño. He goes down the line. Looking for the feed there on the far side of the pitch. And a handball in LAFC. So it'll be free kick for Juarez in the offensive zone. And it is Nathan Ordaz, confirmation here, subbing in for Carlos Vela. Juarez. Played back now to Ortega, the left center back. Middle of the field is Garcia. Now it's Osuna. He goes out wide on the left side. Waiting for it there is the sub. Romania playing it into the ground there. Towards Zapata. That's still 40 yards from goal. He gets fouled by Bogus. Zapata is taking a beating tonight. Ket tried to run up there quickly with Zapata to take it, and they do. Played there now to the sub, Ormenio. Ormenio looping around the defense there, 35 from goal, but his last touch is a bad one. Bogus, though, loses it. Phuket settling, 25 from goal on the far side, flipping it in towards Escoto. He tries to knock it down to the area, still loose. Shot deflected and blocked by LAFC. Only cleared as far as Artar Garcia settles. Shot and save McCarthy with the left hand. Oh, what a blast by Artur Garcia. And a better save from John McCarthy in the 70th minute to keep it 5-1. Garcia settled it off his chest in the forward, hit the ground. He launched a left-footed blast. McCarthy with a left hand off the left-sided post. And on a play for the corner kick. What a save. Bouquet, outswinging corner, headed away by Aaron Long. Top of the area, though, trying to be sent to get back in by the sub, a new sub who's come in, Augustin Erzi for FC Juarez. Kept in play, though. Far side of the pitch now, Juarez. All the way across, Bouquet settled 30 yards from home. Gets dragged down by Denis and a foul. Is called. I think they're going to give a yellow card to Denis Buonga there. Maybe not. He was just reaching for the spray. Quickly taken by Juarez. This go to back onto Bouquet. Instead of the 30 uh, yard. Uh, Ball. They decide to play it quickly to Zapata, who's now 40 yards from goal. Squares it across the pitch. Waiting for it there is the right back, who's on the left side of the pitch. Now Rodriguez, all the way back across with a looping ball on the near side. Actor Garcia. Garcia taken off the ball by Cheeky Palacios. They call a foul. Wow. Clean tackle by Cheeky, but the foul is called. 72nd minute, 5 1 LAFC. But for all the good news, Carlos Vela immediately was subbed out and walked off the pitch after that Buonga goal, and he was complaining about that right thigh and holding it. Hopefully he's all right. It is a free kick now in a good spot here for Juarez. Taken by the sub, Erzi towards the near post, headed away by Bogus, right to the feet of Eric Duenas on the near side. Duenas, good ball cutting back in towards Bogus. All there from behind by Juarez, and Bogus did not like that. He's back up into the face of Ortega. Bad foul there by Ortega. I don't know how that's not a yellow card, frankly. Ortega was only looking to knock down Mateos Bogus, and he did. In fairness, the referee called the foul, but does not call or give a yellow card. 72nd minute, it'll be a free kick LAFC. We pause for station identification here on the home of the black and gold, ESPN LA. KSPN AM 710 Los Angeles. KRDC AM 1110 Pasadena, Los Angeles. 710 ESPN. A good karma brand's radio station. That looked like a little bit of frustration out of Howard Ortega, the 23-year-old Mexican. He kind of just knocked down the Bogus. Referee does give him a talking to. Bogus immediately got up and pushed him back. 73rd minute, it'll be a free kick McCarthy, 40 yards off his headline. He sends it long on the left side of the pitch. 
just past Buonga and Rodriguez into the corner here. Garcia trying to chase it down. He'll blast it all the way down the line, but only as far as Tiki. Back into the middle of the offensive zone. Acosta trying to pass to Buonga. Taken away by Juarez's defense, but they're still not clearing lines. Bouquet, oh, good little ball forward there to Zapata. He gets fouled from behind. Referee says no, it was actually clean. Long takes it away at midfield. Palacios out wide here to Acosta. He's going to get fouled by Rodriguez. The referee says no foul. Acosta can't believe that. Long goes out of play. I think it'll be a throw in LAFC. Did they, fall, did they actually call the foul there? They did call the foul. Rodriguez. When it's game time, bet on your team, not your cooking abilities. Hit the spot with Postmates, the official on-demand delivery partner of Los Angeles Football Club. 5-1 LAFC lead. FC Juarez here in the Leeds Cup round of 32 knockout game at BMO Stadium. Played back to Palacios on the restart. He goes all the way back now to Maldonado in the middle. Threw him legs of a couple of defenders there. At least around a couple of defenders. Lays it off Hollingshead. Down the line to Ordox. 40 yards from goal on that right wing. Ordox plays it back to midfield to Hollingshead. Still pressure from Juarez, but Hollingshead does a great job to get it off his foot to Hordaz. Hordaz dribbling the middle of the field, trying to lay it down on the diagonal towards Ogush. Osuna gets back into the corner nicely, just in front of Mateos. But that nearly gives the ball away. Bogus still battling, and he steals it away. In the corner, Bogus around one defender, through the legs of Osuna. But, oh, when Osuna gets just a touch on it to knock it out of play. Corner kick, LAFC. Good job defensively by Bogus, high up the pitch. And they earn a corner kick here in the 75th minute. What a night it's been for LAFC. Two goals from Carlos Vela. Two goals from Denis Buwanga. And what a restart to their season here after the two-and-a-half-week layoff. Bogus out swinging corner. In the middle of the park, Maldonado gets ahead on it, but pops it high and over the bar. And it was always high as soon as it left Daniel's head. Daniel does have one goal in MLS play off a header. Here in the 75th minute, though, Juarez will get it restarted quickly. Osuna short. Now towards midfield on the far side of the pitch. Cannot be kept in play by Aitor Garcia. The header will be a throw-in for LAFC. Garcia kind of shaking his head in frustration. And, oh, this is a very good sight for LAFC. Sergi Palencia will check in for Ryan Hollingshead. Good night for Hollingshead. He actually had the first goal of the match before the Vela and Buonga onslaught. So Hollingshead will make way. Great night for the all-star Ryan Hollingshead. But good to see Sergi Palencia. He's been out for a while with an ankle injury. He gives Hollingshead a round of applause as Ryan's going to warmly greet Palencia here as he subs in for Hollingshead here in the 76th minute. A hug between the two teammates, and here comes Sergi Palencia racing across the pitch here to take that right back spot. Hollingshead and Steve Tarundolo with some smiles, whatever they were talking about. And why not? It's 5 1 LAFC. Still all smiles between those two. There must be some joke going on. Bogus here on the restart. Through three defenders. Palencia who plays it off to Ilya, who just doesn't even look and sends it right back to Daniel Maldonado. To Ilya. One touch to Palencia. Down the line with a 20-yard ball there to Bogus. Around one defender is now Ordox. Laying it back into the middle. Ilya just lays it for Acosta. Middle of the park now, Dwayne Yas. 25 from goal. Cutting it back to Palacios. Into the area. Cheeky around the defender. Rodriguez gets taken down and a penalty is called. And Rodriguez pops up and knew it right away. He's frustrated, but he does not argue at all as Cheeky Palacios is still down to the ground after earning the penalty here from Luis Rodriguez. Palacios beat him. Yeah. And he got a lot of the right leg of Cheeky. Didn't mean to foul him, of course. This was not intentional by any means. But it was late in, and Palacios earns the penalty. Now we just hope Cheeky's all right here in the 77th minute. And again, Luis Rodriguez popped up in not a word of argument there. So it will be Denis Buwanga. Remember, Carlos Vela left the match holding his right thigh just moments ago. So Denis Buwanga, who is on a hat trick here, will try to complete that. Now into the 78th minute, Pasquale dancing on his line here. Made one great save earlier against the knee. Here comes Buwanga. The shot. Goal! The PK is good. It's 6-1. Denis Buwanga, we love you with the hat trick here. Quickly set up and quickly taken by Buwanga. It's 6-1. 
And Juarez's miserable night continues here at Vivo Stadium. Tanini Buongo with a hat trick. Pasquale didn't even get off his line, really. He dove the right way, but the ball was already in the back of the net as Tanini just laced it to his left, the keeper's right. Never any doubt there. Nobody saving that one. Tanini Buongo with his third goal of the match. And LAFC now leads 6 to 1. 79th minute for the black and gold. Hey, Bebo is proud to be the official bank of LAFC. We're committed to growing the game of soccer and to grow the good of the communities across California. Oh, the dancing is going on by the fans here at Bebo Stadium. LAFC are partying 6 1. Here in the 79th minute. Juarez will put it back in play. I think they just want to get out of here and go home. FC Juarez will be out of the tournament. We do say we said they've got off to a great start of the upper tour. There's two wins and a draw. But now they just have to sit out the rest of this tournament and wait for that. Played up to Buwanga by McCarthy near midfield. Oh, Buwanga tried to lay it off to Duenas. Take it away there. I took Garcia will play it back. Jose Garcia off to Ortega, now all the way out wide on the far side. Is Ormeño, who will play it all the way back to Pasquel. Pasquel right at the edge of the 18, not under tremendous pressure here in the 80th minute. Tries to find Rodriguez. He gets a good header on it forward. Settling it there nicely as Ormeño he tries to go across the pitch. The far side, Erta Garcia. Flipping it forward into the corner, Bouquet. Bouquet, five yards off the end line, putting it back on his right foot, cutting it across into the middle. Aaron Long with a header up to the edge of the 18. Garcia trying to take it out of the air. It's deflected on the ground. Shot there from Juarez from 25. It's over the bar. Good effort there by Erzi, the substitute, to put it on his right foot. Augustine Erzi, always going high there for the 23-year-old Argentine. But a good effort there. He had one shot on goal against Austin with that 3-1 win. 80th minute now. McCarthy's going to send everybody long as he had the two center backs flanking him. Puts it down to the six on the near side. The LAFC lead at six to one in this match. Remember, FC Juarez cut it to two one early in the second half. The LAFC have just absolutely put that uh, pedal to the metal. Elias Sanchez, long ball on the left wing. Buanga already on three goals on the night. It's stood up there by Garcia this time, and Garcia takes the ball away right to the end line. Forward there, into traffic. And then Garcia gets taken out and fouled by Elias Sanchez. He apologizes, and Garcia accepts it immediately, and it's a free kick for Juarez. I think Garcia is a fine player for FC Juarez. He is talented, no doubt. Brought in from Spain, just joining the club, in fact, in July. Might actually put the in late June. Play now to Ortega, the center back. Out wide. Short little ball there down the line by Ortega. Up near midfield. Looks like Bouquet was foul there. Taking off his feet was Palencia. Free kick here for Juarez. Just inside their defensive half. They switch it all the way across the pitch to Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Squaring it there, Garcia. Short little ball in the middle of Zapata. Pressure from Duenas. Goes back to Ortega. Actually now... Make it that's Osuna. Now to Ortega, who's a little bit wider on that left side. Ortega settles in the defensive half, goes all the way across the pitch, looking for the run of Rodriguez. Headed away and out of play by Palacios. Good job by Chiki there. Rodriguez throws it in 40 yards off the end line to Zavata in midfield. And in the offensive half, here comes a puck. Short little ball there. Good little cut by Garcia, putting it on his left foot in the middle of the field. It's around one defender, plays it back now. Who gets in the middle of the park to Ortega. Osuna's in the middle, playing more like the left center back. Ortega's now the left back. Zapata switches it out. Rodriguez, the right back. 40 yards off the end line here. Back to Zapata with a square ball middle of the field. Good turn. Finding Osuna in the center circle. They'll play it off now. Say Garcia, right near midfield. Short ball to Rodriguez. Just pops it back to Osuna. Pressure from LAFC and Ordaz. Ortega, though, trying to win the header around Ordaz and does. Gets it off his foot to Bouquet. Right along midfield, down that left wing, looking for Erzi. Settling right along the touchline, double team there, trying to get around the defense of Maldonado. Erzi still on the ball, towards the end line. Erzi, Augustine Erzi, cutting it back into the middle. Headed, Escoto just over the bar. Escoto looking for his second goal of the match and heads it over from four yards out. 
Good effort there from Augustine Erzy to win the end line and then find Escoto with a header. And he just clipped it over the crossbar. Stay tuned for the Black and Gold Post Game Show presented by Heineken. Heineken, official partner of Los Angeles Football Club. On the restart, gets it back. Does McCarthy from his defenders. Sends it up to midfield past Ordaz. And now Osuna, the sub, has an 83rd minute LAFC 6. FC Juarez 1. Black and Gold will be right back at Bemo Stadium on Tuesday to play the winner of Real Salt Lake and Leon. Boy, could we have a rematch of the CONCACAF Champions League final? We'll see. We also think we'll have something to say about that. LAFC nearly stealing it at midfield. Take it back by Juarez, up towards Escoto, who gets taken out off the ball. They're going to give a yellow card to Didio Maldonado. Wow. Yeah, Maldonado went through Escoto there, but I think it's the first time Daniel's even looked at the referee and vice versa. He gets a yellow card. 84th minute. Free kick Juarez here. What a night for the black and gold, especially offensively, although the defense has played perfectly fine as well. Yeah, Maldonado was late on that, on the replay. Slip, flip forward towards Escoto, deflects away, trying to pressure his Ursi, and he's going to win the ball on the right side here in the corner. Towards the end line, he and Cheeky battling, and Ursi just dribbles it out of play. Velasco's getting physical with Augustine Ursi there. And the ball goes off of Ursi here in the 85th minute goal kick LAFC. Played short and back to Aaron Long, still inside the 18. How wide out of Palacios in the corner. He settles and goes down the line with a long looping ball towards midfield. Headed away there by Jose Garcia. It's going to fall to Dwayne's around Rodriguez and he gets taken down. And here comes the yellow card for Rodriguez. Remember, he just gave up a penalty moments ago. It wasn't a yellow card foul on the penalty, and the referee rightly didn't give him one there. But he does now, rightfully, as well. I must say, Marcos de Oliveira has refereed a fine game here tonight. He's been on. He's been right about these yellow cards for both teams, frankly. In this one, John Luis Rodriguez, maybe in the longer kind of sharing a nice moment there. Don't think Rodriguez was doing that with any malicious intent. He was way late on the tackle. Good move by Dwayne. Colossus is taking the game. Near midfield, he plays it all the way back to Long, back to Cheeky. Squares to Ilya, back to Colossus, but there's good pressure by Juarez. It looks like they're going to get a steal away from him. Nicely taken down. Here comes Juarez, outside of the area. Bouquet trying to lay it off the run of Escoto. It's too far in front of him. The left foot of Maldonado clears it up near midfield. Headed back in by Juarez. Escoto settling just outside of the area, trying to lay it off there for the sub or Mabio, but it's knocked back in by Juarez after the clearance. Bouquet settles it back to Zapata. Still 45 yards from goal. They'll try the right wing now. Right along the touchline here. Good ball to Aitor Garcia, putting it back on his left foot. Garcia, dangerous. 25 yards curler. Escocha tries to flip the header on without looking. And it heads up going wide to Rodriguez. He keeps it in play. Back to the edge of the six. Armando trying to settle. Puts it back to Bouquet. Left footed shot. McCarthy with a diving save and hangs on. 86 minute save on the shot from Bouquet. And McCarthy keeps it out of the net. Here we are into the 87th minute. McCarthy still with his hands on the football. LAFC 6. FC Juarez 1. McCarthy sending everybody long here. And he punts it long into the offensive zone. And away by Garcia towards midfield. Buanga settles it back to Cheeky who keeps it in play and knocks it off the shin of Romano and out of play. It'll be a throw in for LAFC right around midfield. Referee going to push him back a few paces. Luongo will throw it in square to Ilya Sanchez, flipping it forward. Stole it away momentarily. Nicely done by Aaron Luongo to win it back. To Cheeky, to Duenas. Good little looping uh, move by Duenas to create some space for himself. Back to Maldonado. He flips it forward towards midfield. Ordaz nearly settling it there, but Ortega just takes it away from him. And a bad touch by Ordaz. Coming in Palencia. Ortega still on the dribble, though, around him. And he gets dragged down from behind by Sergi Palencia. And a foul is called. Free kick. FC Juarez here, 87, oh, beg your pardon, 88th minute now. Juarez was thinking about taking it quickly again, but this time they will settle. Itar Garcia will have that left foot on it. Actually, it might be Erzi who ends up taking this to sub. 88th minute, plenty of players forward now. Erzi does take it into the area, headed away by Palacios, top of the area. 
trying to settle. Who catch shot? Jay McCarthy as he tips it over the bar. Sebastian Bouquet, the substitute, on loan from Chivas with another great effort here. He settled from 20 yards out, ripped it with the right foot, and McCarthy made another great save. Still 6-1. It's a corner kick. Juarez, 88th minute. Out swinging right foot. Here it comes. Near post. Knocked down, still loose. Cleared away to Dwayne Dust at the edge of the area. Here comes LAFC. Dwayne Dust around a couple of defenders. Gets it out wide to Ordaz. Ordaz sends it long on the middle of the field, making the run is Buwanga. Here comes the keeper, and he gets there first. And Pasquale knocks it away from Denis momentarily. Pasquale battling Denis. Buwanga on it. Can chip it towards the goal. It's headed away at the six. Buwanga from 40 yards out tried the chip. Headed away on the defender, Osuna, who was the last man back at the six. And out of play. Oh, boy. Dangerous times there. Pasquale had to come out initially against Buwanga. His clearance went right off the chest of Garcia, and Buwanga came back to win it. Flipped it around Pasquale, but as he tried the 40-yard shot, didn't have enough on it. It's headed away. 89th minute, LAFC on the football here with a corner kick. Did he looking for his fourth goal in the game, Bogush? Right arm drops it, hits swinging right footer in front of the 32-52 near post. Battling there is Ilya Sanchez to try to keep it in play. It does go off of Ilya and just over the end line here. Goal kick, Juarez. We're into the 90th minute now. No word yet from the fourth official on how much they might add to this. 6-1 LAFC leading Juarez. 32-52 still in full voice here. Why not celebrate? Pasquale puts the right foot through it. Into the offensive half, headed up high by Acosta, right up in the air. Headed again, this time by Erzi, and cleared away by Aaron Long's left foot towards midfield. Knocked down by Duenas, right to the feet of Buonga. Oh, leads Ordaz brilliantly. Here comes Nathan Ordaz. Ordaz into the area, on his left foot, shot, and goal! Nathan Ordaz finishes it 7-1! Feeding the rod of Ordaz, who broke free near midfield. And he's getting a lot of love from his teammates, Nathan Ordaz. The 19 year old deserves that one. Just keeps getting better and better. And Ordaz makes it 7 to 1. And he settled at midfield, saw the run of Ordaz behind Ortega. And Nathan ran it down 25 yards from goal, settled it into the 18, put it on his left foot, and beat Pasquale. Oh, what a goal there by LAFC. And that's what you want to see from the black and gold. It's 7 to 1. Oh, the smile on the youngster's face. And the referee says we're done. That's it. It is over. LAFC win, 7-1 to one, the final here, the round of 32. Handshakes all around for both teams. The black and gold sent Juarez out of the competition. LAFC move on to the round of 16, Tuesday night at BMO Stadium here. Back at home for the winner of tomorrow's matchup between RSL and Blue Play home. So it could be a rematch, although RSL will have something to say about that. Could be a rematch. The Cap Champions League final. We'll see LAFC get their job done here tonight. Beating FC Juarez, the final score, 7-1. to one. We'll be back with a post-game show. There was no stoppage time presented by Extra Mile, so we move right on to the post-game show coming up here shortly. But what a finish for LAFC. 7-1 to the final. Post-game show coming up next here in the home of the black and gold, ESPN LA. LAFC FC Juarez is a final. He's a final. He's a final. On ESPN LA, the Black and Gold Post Game Show presented by Heineken is next. ESPN LA, the Black and Gold play here. LAFC LAFC is a final. We kick off the Black and Gold Post Game Show presented by Heineken. LAFC FC Juarez is a final. Is a final. LAFC on ESPN LA. This is the Black and Gold Post Game Show. This is the Black and Gold Post Game Show. The Black and Gold Post Game Show is presented by Heineken.
Heineken, official partner of Los Angeles Football Club. All the highlights, all the post-game news. We are the heart of, Los, the Angeles. Heart of Los Angeles. The Black and Gold post-game show. This is the Black and Gold post-game show. And by 1800 Tequila, the best taste in tequila. And BMO. BMO is proud to be the official bank of LAFC. We're committed to growing the game of soccer and to grow the good in the communities across California. And by Kaiser Permanente. As the team positions of LAFC, we work to keep the heart of L.A. healthy and the hearts of L.A. thriving. Kaiser Permanente, together we thrive. And by Valvoline Instant Oil Change, home of the 15-minute oil change. Visit SoCalOilChange.com for locations and game-winning coupons of your next Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Here's Dave Denholm. Time for the post-game show here on ESPN LA after LAFC have defeated Juarez in the knockout round of the 32 of the League's Cup 7-1. to one. Let's go down to the pitch at BMO Stadium here. It's Mario Rees with Ryan Hollingshead, the goal scorer. Ryan, have you ever scored a goal with your back before? Take us through that goal. Yeah, that's just uh, unbelievable vision, you know, seeing the <laughs> seeing the ball coming. No, it just, it just smacked off my back. Kellen and I were joking, actually, this week in practice. I said if the ball is trickling in and Kellen had been the one to, to shoot it, I would go in and uh, take the goal from him. But if it was somebody else, Denis, I'd leave it for Denis. But if it was Kellen, I'd take it, and then it, it happened. I took his goal. It was going on target from Kellen. So, uh, hey, that's football sometimes. Describe the energy from the group tonight after the break. 7-1 win over Juarez. Yeah, that's a big win for us. Uh, getting back to what we do, which is score goals, uh, and, and score goals like that, score seven. Uh, it's, it's what LAFC is known for. I think you could see... Uh, some freshness coming back in that guy's legs. Uh, people just uh, kind of excited to be back and ready to make a big push for the end of the season. So a uh, good start, but still a lot more to do. Two spectacular goals from Carlos Vela. Talk about the world-class performance from uh, Vela tonight, your captain. Yeah, we need him big time. We need him scoring goals like that. We need him creating like he's been creating for us. Uh, when he's at his best, we're at our best. And so he did that tonight. That's huge for us. Uh, got We got to have him, yep. And what's to say about Denis Bawanga with the hat trick? Well, this guy is trying to be the Golden Boot winner in the in the league for the MLS. He's he's just a class act, unbelievable player, so dynamic in every way. Works so hard both sides of the ball, defensively unbelievable. Uh, and so it's the type of guy that you want to see have so much success in this league and League's Cup, all of it. Uh, and and he's uh, he's loving it. So, congrats on the win, Ryan. Go celebrate with the guys. Thanks, Mario. Back to Ryan you there. there with Mario Reeves down on the pitch. Hollingshead got things going. You heard him talk about getting in the way of that Acosta shot. Of course, he knew nothing of it. Kellen Acosta actually officially gets an assist for that one as it blasted off of Ryan Hollingshead's back. Ryan, though, was very effective both offensively and defensively, so you deserve a goal if you're Ryan Hollingshead just for the performance. That got things started in the 31st minute then in the 33rd minute on a bit of a mistake by a normally solid keeper ramon pasquale carlos vela with the goal here as we go to the highlights vela with a classy finish to make it 2-0 in the 33rd he's got jose garcia in front of him vela will play it now in the diagonal in the palacios in the area Chiki plays it back top of the area both settles right footed shot blocked high up into the air pasquale knocking it down right to vela vela flipping into the back post it is of that clearance it fell to Vela who popped it over the strand and keeper it in it's 2-0 oh, what a goal Carlos Vela the initial shot Bogus had it blocked Pasquale tried to knock it away headed right back to Vela and he absolutely left Pasquale stranded Juarez tried to head it out Carlos takes it off his chest and out of the air with a left foot to the back post and in. What a looping shot by Vela. Over the stranded keeper and just under the crossbar. So much talent on display there from Carlos Vela. You got to do that so quickly. And with the deft touch of that left foot of Carlos Vela, it was a thing of beauty. 2 0 going into the half. FC Juarez, I got to tell you, they made a couple of subs at halftime. Rightfully so. Diego Mejia wanted to change things up and it worked. One of their substitutes came in, Escoto in the 47th, to cut the lead in half. 
Salcedo sends it into the middle, headed up towards the back post, still loose, and goal! Escoto scores! Just that quickly off the bench for FC Juarez, they're right back into the match. Amari Escoto has scored on the corner kick. Mayhem in the middle, and Juarez are right back into it. It's 2-1 LAFC. A scrappy goal, to say the least, on the corner kick. Headed nicely towards the back post by Ortega, knocked down there by Salas, and Escoto was waiting for it inside the six. And he blasted it home with the left foot, no mistake there. And Juarez has cut the lead in half just like that to begin the second half. And LAFC better use that as a wake-up call here. And indeed they did, thankfully. Juarez got off to the perfect start in the second half, but... Just a few minutes later for LAFC, they really did shake them up and woke them up, no doubt about it. They got right back to it. It's today's Yamamoto's Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Thrill of the match. It was Denis Buwanga regaining the two-goal lead in the 52nd minute. Playing it short, Hollingshead back to Acosta in the area. Hollingshead gets taken down behind the play. Acosta keeps it alive in the middle. Buwanga shot, save, Pesquero. Rebound, goal! Denis Buwanga has scored! 3-1 LAFC. Trouble clearing for FC Juarez and Denis Buwanga makes the pay. First goal of the league's cup for Buwanga. Third of the night for LAFC as they regain the two-goal lead. Excellent play for the black and gold. Acosta with the cross in. Buwanga was there to knock it home and a rebound. He got the header on the initial ball. That's well made a great save, but he knocked it down right back to Denis at the six, and he made no mistake. And now the goal that really put this one to, to bed, 61st minute. And guess what? You would know it's this. It's really a signature goal for LAFC, and it's a signature goal for Carlos Vela. He's on the right side, cutting it onto his left foot from about 20-some yards away, and the goalkeeper's just going to have to pick it out of the back of the net. Back to Hollingshead along the touchline on the far side. Cuts it back to BU, 22 yards off the end line. To Elia Sanchez, good pass to Vela, middle of the field. Settles on the left foot, shot, goal! Carlos Vela with a curly ball, it's 4-1! Oh, when you find Carlos Vela there from 22 yards on that left foot to the back post, forget about it. Put it on the board, it's 4-1! Carlos is second of the night, and LAFC are in command here! Great passing. Vela put it on the left foot. Juarez did not close him down quickly enough, and there was nothing Pasquale was going to do but pick that one out of the back of the neck. Oh, we've seen it so many times from Carlos Vela. Just perfect. So LAFC is in control, as I mentioned, 4-1, but they weren't done. Five minutes later, Vela plays provider to Buwanga to make it 5-1. It's a forward pass there to Vela. Nicely taken by Carlos. Still in the middle field, about 45 yards from pole. Chipping it towards Buwanga, making a run. Denise in the area. Denise settles on the right foot. Shot back, posted in! And the flag comes up late. Offside. No goal. Denise can't believe it. What a ball from Vela to Denise, and what a finish. As Buwanga was on this left wing and went far post, curling it around as Pasquale. Oh, boy, they're going to have to check this. He is not offside. He is onside. They better go to VAR on this. I believe it was the left center back Ortega keeping him on. And they're going to VAR. It's a goal. It is a goal. And Denis Buongo is onside. It's 5-1. Denis with his second of the match. Vila with the assist. And LAFC a running rough shot over FC Juarez. So that was Carlos Vela's first assist to go along with his two goals. Then in the 78th minute, Denis Buonga finished off a penalty after Chiqui Palacios was taken down to the area by Rodriguez. Great move by Chiqui to draw the foul. Denis finished the penalty for his hat trick to make it 6-1. And then Buonga got into the assist act late in the match near midfield. He hit Nathan Ordaz on the breakaway. Made away by Aaron Lowe, left field towards midfield. Knocked down by Duenas, right to the feet of Buonga. Oh, leads Ordaz brilliantly. Here comes Nathan Ordaz. Ordaz into the area. On his left foot, shot, and goal! Nathan Ordaz finishes it 7-1! And Denis Buonga and Eric Duenas are there to give him hugs. Ah, oh, Denis unselfishly feeding the rod of Ordaz, who broke free near midfield. Field, and he's getting a lot of love from his teammates, Nathan Ordaz. The 19-year-old deserves that one. Just keeps getting better and better. 
and Four Dars makes it seven to one. And that for FC Juarez is mercifully how it finished, at least, as the referee basically ended the match. LAFC seven, FC Juarez one in this round of 32 knockout. And LAFC move on to the round of 16. Taking a look at the stats, LAFC with just 47% of the possession, but so what? They outshot Juarez 20 to 18. In fairness, a lot of that was from uh, Juarez late in the match. Shots on goal 10 to 5 in favor of the black and gold. And they won 7 to 1. Corner kicks in favor of LAFC 10 6 as well. Stick around. Still to come, we'll have the uh, Valvoline Instant Oil Change Game Changer coming up next. Here on the home of the black and gold, it's a post-game show after a big 7-1 win for the black and gold here on ESPN LA. Becoming America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all-wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales can based on calendar your sales. Just a sec. Listen, it's hard to balance work, family, and school. But it's easier when your university is built for students with a lot on their plate. Since 1976, University of Phoenix has helped over a million working adults earn their degree. Come see what they can do for you. Find out more at phoenix.edu. University of Phoenix, we rise for you. Okay, what's going on? What does it take to make the world's most awarded tequila? 1800 Tequila knows it takes dedication down to every drop. It's more than just harvesting the finest blue agave. It's using it in a 200-year-old recipe recognized by tequila experts as the best in its class. So when you choose 1800 Tequila, you choose taste above all. 1800, the best taste in tequila. 1800 Tequila, Proximo, Jersey City, New Jersey, 21 and older. Please drink responsibly. Sweet, savory, refreshing. Those are just a few words to describe the new Baskin Robbins Mango Nada. Our tribute to this traditional Mexican beverage combines the bright, tropical flavor of mango, the tangy cake of chamoy, and the spice of tahine classical seasoning, leaving taste buds with an unforgettably unique experience. It's the perfect way to sip in the new season. Try a Mango Nada today at Baskin Robbins. Sweet, savory, score. If your colors are black and gold, then you know the heart of L.A. And if you're one of four million that call L.A. home, then you're the heart that keeps LAFC going strong. As the team physicians of LAFC, Kaiser Permanente knows that a strong team needs a stronger community. And we're dedicated to helping keep LAFC, their fans, and L.A. at their absolute best. Because shoulder to shoulder we stand, and together we thrive. Kaiser Permanente. 200% more power, 300% longer battery life, and 100% faster charging. That's what pros can expect from Flex Power Tools. Featuring stacked lithium battery technology, this game-changing power keeps pros on the job and off the sidelines so they can outwork, outperform, and outlast the competition. And it's backed by the Flex Lifetime Warranty for all tools, batteries, and chargers. Stay in the game with Flex Power Tools, a proud sponsor of LAFC. Visit FlexPowerTools.com to check out the full lineup of 24 volt tools what does a bank like bemo know about soccer well we've been a fan for two decades helped over a quarter million kids take the pitch and invested 25 million dollars in support of youth athletes but we're not just growing the game we're growing the good we're a bank that helps millions of customers make real financial progress and that's something we can all cheer for bemo Official Bank of LAFC. BMO Harris Bank, NA member FDIC. You were listening to the Black and Gold Post Game Show. Recapping everything that went down tonight. This is the Black and Gold Post Game Show. The Black and Gold Post Game Show presented by Heineken. The Black and Gold Post Game Show is presented by Heineken. Heineken, official partner of Los Angeles Football Club. This is LAFC's head coach, Steve Chirundolo. This is the Black and Gold Post Game Show. LAFC, FC Juarez is a final. He's a final once again. Back to Dave Denholm. LAFC 
all over FC Juarez at home. Win, 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 win. Seven to one. The black and gold poured it on. Let's remember, though, this game was two to one after Amari Escoto, the sub, scored very early in the second half. It leads us to our Valvoline instant oil change game changer. Right after Escoto's goal, just five minutes later, Denis Buwanga ensured essentially LAFC were going to control this match to regain that two goal lead. Playing it short, Hollins head back to Acosta in the area. Hollins head gets taken down behind the play. Acosta keeps it alive in the middle. Buwanga shot, save, pass, goal. Rebound, goal! Denis Buwanga has scored! 3 1 LAFC! Trouble clearing for FC Juarez, and Denis Buwanga makes the pay! First goal of the league to come for Buwanga. Third of the night for LAFC as they regain the two goal lead. Excellent play from the black and gold. Acosta with the cross in. Buwanga was there to knock it home on a rebound. He got the header on the initial ball. That's well made a great save, but he knocked it down right back to Denis at the six, and he made no mistake. Valvoline Instant Oil Change, home of the 15 minute oil change. Visit SoCalOilChange.com. For locations and to score game winning coupons off your next Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Now, that was one of three goals for Denis Buwanga. He also had an assist on the Nathan Ordaz goal to finish off the 7 to 1 win. Carlos Vela with two goals and an assist, but on the assist from Vela to Denis, that was in the uh, second half. Carlos Vela felt something in his right leg and immediately went off the pitch, walked into the dressing room, and uh, he is being evaluated according to team officials. So still no word on Carlos Vela there being evaluated. But what we do know is this is the most prolific LAFC has ever been in a match, their highest scoring game in all competitions, 7-1 to one, the final as they beat Juarez in this one. And it really, again, it was 2-1 to one in the 47th minute when Amari Escoto, Escoto scored that goal. And LAFC just absolutely blew up from there. Five unanswered to go on to the comfortable 7-1 to one win. And again, the stats don't always tell the story. They're pretty even, actually, if you look at them throughout the match. But it was just dominance. And speaking of dominance, if you look around the rest of this League's Cup Wednesday night in the knockout round of 32, it was MLS's night, to be perfectly honest. First things first. The first match of the night was actually delayed weather-wise. It was going to be Lionel Messi, and I can't believe I'm still saying that. Messi in MLS with Inter Miami was taking on cross-state rivals Orlando. That game got delayed a little bit, so Dallas and Mazatlan and Pachuca and Houston actually kicked off first on this first game, uh, first night of the round of 32. And Dallas in Frisco beat Mazatlan 2-1. to one. Pachuca and Houston played to a nil-nil draw. Houston were perfect on penalties and ended up beating Pachuca and PKs 5-3. to three. So Houston and Dallas, both from uh, the uh, Texas rivalry, Copa Tejas rivalry, they move on after defeating Mazatlan and Pachuca. Pachuca, remember, had gotten the bye into the knockout round. So that could cause a little bit of like, uh-oh, LAFC have to be careful here after uh, getting a bye all the way into this round of 32 but LAFC took care of business at home, beating Juarez 7-1. And, oh, by the way, the Miami-Orlando game did get going at Drive Peak Stadium in Miami, and Lionel Messi continues doing what the greatest of all time does, and that is scoring two goals in Miami's 3-1 win over Orlando. Coming up next, we'll have the Flex Power Tools save of the match. That and so much more as we wrap up on this postgame show, the 7-1 win LAFC over Juarez. Here in the round of 32, right here on the home of the black and gold, ESPN LA. Bet on your team, not your cooking abilities. Find what you need to hit the spot by ordering Postmates, the official on-demand delivery partner of Los Angeles Football Club. Use code LA30 to get 30% off your first three orders of $35 or more. Terms apply. A great football club knows how to use the depth on its squad. And your game day drink needs the right players too. I'm going with Captain Morgan. A flavorful start. Yeah. Let's round out the squad with ginger ale and... A lime wedge. Delicious. Sub in the captain. Visit captainmorgan.com to find captain near you. Drink responsibly. Captain Morgan Original Spice Drum. Premium Caribbean rum with spice and other natural flavors. 35% alcohol by volume. Captain Morgan Rum Company, New York, New York. Hey, LAFC fans. 
If you're in need of large format printed graphics and installation, or projection mapping to bring a massive building to life, or creative designs to make your message pop, look no further than LAFC Zone official signage partner, A3 Visual. A3 Visual is a full service visual solutions company specializing in large format printing, immersive events, creative design, fabrication, and installation. Make the world your canvas with A3 Visual. Visit them today at a3visual.com. Arriba Chela. We don't get it to make it just match. Drink arriba for the win. It's a better be Chela. Drink arriba for the win. It's a better be Chela. Oh la la la. Arriba Chela. If your colors are black and gold, then you know the heart of L.A. And if you're one of four million that call L.A. home, then you're the heart that keeps LAFC going strong. As the team physicians of LAFC, Kaiser Permanente knows that a strong team needs a stronger community. And we're dedicated to helping keep LAFC, their fans, and L.A. at their absolute best. Because shoulder to shoulder we stand, and together we thrive. Kaiser Permanente. Today, with so much uncertainty in our lives, it's understandable to feel stressed and anxious. Score a goal by using CalHOPE's free resources to take care of your mental health. Make a game plan by calling our warm line at 833-317-4673. That's 833-317-4673. Or live chat at calhope.org. That's calhope.org. CalHOPE, official partner of Los Angeles Football Club. Bet on your team, not your cooking abilities. Find what you need to hit the spot by ordering Postmates, the official on-demand delivery partner of Los Angeles Football Club. Use code LA30 to get 30% off your first three orders of $35 or more. Terms apply. LAFC FC Juarez is the final. final. You are listening to the Black and Gold Post Game Game Show Show. presented by Heineken. The Black and Gold Post Game Show is presented by Heineken. Heineken, official partner of Los Angeles Football Club. Recapping everything that went down today. LAFC. This is John McCarthy, number 77, Los Angeles Football Club. This is the Black and Gold Post Game Show. Once again, back to Dave Denholm. Coming back after a two and a half week layoff, LAFC with a bye to the round of 32. And boy, did they make that pay for them and really pay off. Seven to one, they beat Juarez and knock FC Juarez out of this League's Cup here in the round of 32. Dave Denholm with you here on the post game show on ESPN LA. It's time for the Flex Power Tools Save the Match. And John McCarthy had to make some saves tonight. And a few of them were really, really good, including this one in the 70th minute. Off of Vitor Garcia. Okay, settling. 25 from goal on the far side. Flipping it in towards Escoto. He tries to knock it down in the area. Still loose. Shot deflected and blocked by LAFC. Only cleared as far as Vitor Garcia. Settles. Shot and save. McCarthy with a left hand. Oh, what a blast by Vitor Garcia. And a better save from John McCarthy in the 70th minute to keep it 5-1. Garcia settled it off his chest in the forward. Hit the ground. He launched a left-footed blast. McCarthy with a left hand off the left-sided post and on a play for the corner kick. What a save. Throughout the season, Flex will be donating $100 to Habitat for Humanity for each save made by an LAFC goalkeeper at home. And thanks to John McCarthy's efforts tonight, $400 added to that as he made four big saves in this one. In fact, FC Juarez's keeper made only two saves on the night as LAFC romped to the seven to one victory. Hey, still to come in this League's Cup for LAFC, we now know they'll be playing Tuesday night. BMO Stadium right back at home. Tuesday night against the winner of tomorrow's matchup between RSL and Club Leon. That is going to be in Salt Lake. Remember, Club Leon is the team that defeated LAFC earlier this season in the CONCACAF Champions League. So maybe a little bit of revenge, revancha on the minds of LAFC potentially in that one. But RSL certainly fully capable of uh, beating Club Leon at home, too. So that's going to be a good match. We'll see who wins that one. They'll be coming to L.A. and BMO Stadium to take on LAFC. Again, that's Tuesday night 
and we'll have it for you right here. This copyrighted audio cast of Major League Soccer may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Major League Soccer. This League's Cup game was a beauty for LAFC. The final score, once again, 7-1. to one. Thanks to stadium engineer Mike Dooley, ESPN LA studio engineer Rebecca Wombo, and LAFC radio producer Mario Rees. I am Dave Donahue. Thank you most of all for listening. What a victory for LAFC. The most goals they've ever scored on a match, defeating FC Juarez 7-1. They move on to the round of 16 here in League's Cup action, and we'll bring it to you on Tuesday. Thanks so much for listening. Enjoy the rest of your week, everyone. Thank you for listening to LAFC. LAFC, FC Juarez is a final. This is Carlos Vela of your LAFC. LAFC season six is on. Up next for the black and gold, LAFC move on to the League's Cup round of 16 and await the winner of Leon and Real Salt Lake. Don't miss any of the action right here on ESPN Los Angeles. <laughs> Farmer John is honored to celebrate another year of our La Familia partnership with LAFC, spotlighting and uplifting LA's community members who are making the world a better place one block at a time. So fresh, so flavorful, so California. Experience Native American cultures, music, food, and dance at the annual San Manuel Pow Wow. From Friday, September 15th through Sunday, September 17th, join dancers and singers from across the U.S. and Canada at Cal State University San Bernardino to celebrate Native American culture and heritage during this free event. Experience the incredible sights and sounds of the grand entry, the thunderous and pounding drum circles, delicious foods, shopping, and more. For details, visit SoCalPowWow.com. Chick-fil-A SoCal is proud to be the official chicken sandwich of LAFC. We love winning as much as you love free food. So LAFC has partnered with Chick-fil-A SoCal to give you a free Chick-fil-A sandwich anytime LAFC wins at home. Just follow these three easy steps. One, download the Chick-fil-A app. Two, turn on your location services. Three, wait until LAFC wins at BMO Stadium and then open your app before 10.30 a.m. the next day. It's that easy. Go LAFC and remember... Eat more chicken. The energy to perform our best starts with a single heartbeat, then another, until a collective drumming of the heart drowns out any doubt. The energy we need comes from a community, pushing us to play harder, go further, be better. At Chevron, we know the power of human energy. This is human energy at work. Chevron the official energy partner of LAFC. Ugh, sorry, just jumping through some hoops here. Trying to illustrate how CarMax's pre-qualifying tool doesn't make you jump through any. Ugh, save time by personalizing your search by monthly payment, Ugh, all without affecting your credit score. So why am I still jumping through hoops? Ugh, well, better me than you. Whoa, that one was on fire. CarMax. Carbine reimagined. See CarMax.com for details. Becoming America's best-selling brand means you never settle for anything less. Like the Ford F-150, with its premium-grade muscle and finely-tuned intelligence, it's a beast with brains. The Ford Bronco Sport, with unquestioned toughness and capability, it's built to take on the mountains. And Ford's complete lineup of all wheel drive SUVs gives you the power, style, and space you need for life on the go. Contact your local Ford store for exclusive offers on Ford's full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Sales can based on calendar your sales. For over 45 years, Pacific Office Automation has been providing winning strategies to help businesses come out on top. That's why Pacific Office Automation is a proud partner of LAFC, our 2022 MLS Cup champions. If you run a business and want to find out how to improve your business processes and costs, contact us today to receive a free technology assessment. Whether it's managed print services, IT services, or anything in between, Pacific Office Automation has your game plan. Pacific Office Automation, problem solved. Farmer John has been fueling California since 1931. It's why we're proud to celebrate our La Familia partnership with LAFC, where we shine a spotlight on folks who are actively making California a better place, one block at a time. KSPN AM 710 Los Angeles. KRDC AM 1110 Pasadena, Los Angeles. 710 ESPN. A good karma brand's radio station. Back to back for the 13th time this year. 
That was a laser beam into the chop house. And for Matt, his 37th home run of the year. Nine to one Atlanta. 680 the fan. It would be a 12-5 win for the Braves over the Angels. 15th game where Atlanta has scored double digits this season. Matt Olson, his 37th homer of the season. He's on pace for 56. That would pass Andrew Jones' single season franchise record of 51, which was set in 2005. Braves get the win. Shohei Otani in the loss, two for three, scored a run, extends his streak of seven games, uh, seven game hit streak, but it comes in the loss for the Angels. Braves with their 69th win of the season. That leads Major League Baseball most wins in the American League, the Orioles. But they stumble in Toronto. Blue Jays had bases loaded in the sixth inning. The pitch. And it hit him. Hit him right in the back with a fastball. It's a painful way to get the lead, but the impact on the back of Chapman gets the Blue Jays a 2-1 advantage. Ouch. 97 miles an hour. It looked like it got him kind of right in the belt. Toronto taking the lead on that bases loaded hit by pitch for Matt Chapman. Up next, Danny Jansen. The 0-2. Hit him again. A fastball hits Jansen on the arm. The second batter dotted by Fujinami. The Blue Jays have a 3-1 lead. And now they're concerned about Danny Jansen and where he got hit. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. gesturing towards the Blue Jay dugout for some assistance by the medical staff to check in on Jansen. Sportsnet 590, the fan, Blue Jays, a 4-1 win over the Orioles. Three runs would score in that sixth inning without recording a hit for Toronto. First time they've scored three runs or more in an inning without a hit since 2012 against the Red Sox. Orioles had three walks, two hit batters, and a fielding error with two outs in that sixth inning. First team this season to either walk or hit at least five batters with two outs in a single inning in the first time the Orioles have done it since 1999. Orioles losing that one. Blue Jays snapped their streak of six great home losses against Baltimore dating back to last season. Blue Jays get the 4-1 win. Toronto also placing shortstop Bo Bichette on the 10-day injured list with right patellar tendonitis in his right knee. Bichette pulling up injured while going for a double in Monday's loss to Baltimore. Orioles Despite the loss Wednesday, still with a game and a half lead on the Rays, Tampa Bay leading the American League wildcard standings with the rest of the AL East in the mix as well. Blue Jays currently nesting in that third wildcard spot with the Red Sox trying to keep pace, but on Wednesday in Seattle. Here is Julio with one out of two on the pitch. Swing and a shattered bat, a ground ball over to the third base side, and a collision between Chang and Devers. Murphy scores, and the Mariners have taken the lead. The barrel and the ball tumbling out of the six hole. Chang and Devers both up on their feet, but they collided shoulder to shoulder, and it helps the Mariners take a 4-3 lead in the bottom of the seventh inning. Mariners taking the lead. Rodriguez would eventually come around and be on 